What do the numbers 10,000, 1 and 5, 375, and 2 have in common? Stay tuned to find out. Sarah from Empty Church here, and this is where we make videos to encourage you in your faith on the six days between Sunday when the church buildings are empty. This week, we're in my kitchen. Why? Well, because recently, Sean, Crystal, Josh, our daughter Cassandra, and myself volunteered at a Generosity Feeds event. What's Generosity Feeds? Generosity Feeds is a nonprofit organization that works to feed hungry children in every county across America. Their experienced team works with volunteers to package 10,000 or more meals in just a couple of hours. All of the meals stay local to feed children in that community who struggle with hunger. The event that we went to was extremely organized, and you have to be when you're looking to make 10,000 meals in about two hours. There were volunteers from all over our community, local businesses, Girl Scouts, and groups of friends like us from Empty Church. They lined up everybody into groups of 10 to 15 at individual tables. Every table had stations. Someone would dump in rice, beans, veggies. Sean and Crystal actually worked uh, the station where they would measure off and add in spices to the packets. I was one of the runners that would hold open the envelope and allow everybody to dump in the pre-measured amounts of food. Then I'd hand it off to two young girls who worked the food saver machine to make sure that the meals that we were packaging stay fresh for as long as possible. Finally, Josh and Cassandra worked to count up 25 bags per box, and our table alone did 15 boxes. If you do the quick math, that's 375 meals. In the two hours that we were there, we packaged 10,200 meals that will be provided to children within our county. A lot of times these envelopes of food are added right into a backpack discreetly at the end of the day to feed the child that night or over the weekend. When they told us that one in five children struggles with hunger and one in four in our county alone, I was kind of shocked. You'd think at 2017 this would not be a problem for America, but it is. A lot of children don't know where their next meal is going to come from, or the only meal that they can count on is the free lunch they receive at school. So nights and weekends, they're hungry. Kids that should be focused on their schoolwork, on doing the best that they can in class, and on building lasting friendships are instead focused on the need to eat. Parents are stressed out because they can't provide a basic need of food for their children. That's why Generosity Feeds is important, and that's why Empty Church wanted to do something. Now, did Empty Church volunteer to get a pat on the back? No. We didn't wear t-shirts that advertised we were from a church. We didn't even tell anyone where we were from. We were just another set of hands there to help prepare foods for hungry kids in our community. It felt good to give back, but what was even more important is opening our eyes to the needs of those around us. As you know, we've been going through the Book of Lamentations. This week's podcast, which is the final in the series, we talked about how you really need to understand what's going on in your community in order to empathize and lament with them. Being a mom, hearing the statistics, and knowing that Cassandra is actually friends with some kids that receive these meals really struck home to me. My challenge for you this week is to see what needs are in your community and then meet them. It could be that you have hungry kids in your area or maybe hungry veterans. Make a meal, share it with someone, whether it's attending a large event like this or feeding your neighbor. Sit with the elderly or people that are sick in the hospital. Sometimes you don't really need to do anything. Your presence is enough. If you're already volunteering in your community, we'd love to hear more about it. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything that's going on here at Empty Church. Until next time, live empty, talk about your faith, and opt in to follow Jesus.